Hi, I'm Jen Truman. Uh, I work with Second Saturday Volunteer. Uh, it's a project of the Raleigh Food Corridor. So I have been with the Raleigh Food Corridor um, as a volunteer and um, briefly as an employee for Community Food Lab since the very beginning. Uh, before it had a name, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in the very early stages, it was a lot of us sitting around asking what we could do about food in our in our Raleigh, in our community. We knew it was an issue and you know, it might seem a little silly now, but five years ago, not many people in Raleigh were talking about local food and people would laugh if you suggested we might be a place where community gardens could get started. And, and now we have dozens of community gardens and local food at almost every restaurant downtown. And well, I don't know that the Raleigh Food Quarter takes complete credit for that. I think a lot of it is trends in our, in our country overall. Um, I know from being deep uh, into volunteering for the Raleigh Food Corridor, because Second Saturday is a project of the Raleigh Food Corridor, that uh, the more people that are talking about local food, the more people are eating local food and supporting local farmers and caring about whether everyone in our community can do that. So I think Raleigh Food Corridor from the beginning has been about inclusivity, it's been about getting food where it needs to be in our city and getting the right food where it needs to be. So I think as a project over the last four years it's evolved different ways of making that happen but that's always been at the heart of the conversation. The mission of Second Saturday is really simple. It's to celebrate local food and community um, specifically here in Raleigh. So Second Saturday because it's all about celebrating local food work that other organizations are doing um, brings people together one day of the month and brings attention to that local food work. So whether it's community gardens, restaurants serving local food, farmers markets, um, community events um, where people can get involved directly by picking blackberries or finding out how they can plant pollinators. Uh, Second Saturday is just working to bring that attention and awareness through events. So. We have several partner organizations that host regular events, and those have changed over the last four years. Some of them are the same, some of them um, have gotten busy doing other things, some new ones have come on board. Um, so some events in the month we have regular. Um, this year we had brunch with a place at the table every single month. And uh, then we also have workshops at local garden centers, things like that. So. Really, if it has to do with local food, gardening, supporting the local food system in any part of the food system, from composting and dirt, through growing, through eating, through back to composting, <laughs> then it can be a second Saturday event. Um, we just ask that people give back to the community in some way, whether it's education or actual funds for charities. Um, if it's got local food and it gives back to the community, it can be part of second Saturday. So um, this year we ran from April through October. And we decided to theme each month not just around food, but around uh, uh, not a specific food, but also around a food topic. So in July, for example, we um, did our third annual Blackberry Brigade event, um, which is really cool. It's Raleigh's only blackberry picking competition. So our theme for that month was blackberries and move. And we had a lot of other events come on board that month too, like the um, Oaks and Spokes and East Coast Greenway Alliance ha started hosting farmer's market bike rides. So they'd actually take the Greenway to the farmer's market with a group of people on a bike. Um, a lot of people rode their bikes or walked around to pick blackberries that month. Um, that event is in partnership with Piedmont Picnic Project, which is an awesome group of um, foragers and they have classes on everything from foraging wild food to canning. Um, as part of Second Saturday, and we just love that event every year. So it'll be back again next year. Um, we also partnered on pollinator events in August uh, with both Apiopolis and Be Better, two organizations, nonprofit organizations, working to build um, more bee um, hives and locations for bees to live in our city, um, but also more bee food and pollinator gardens in different places in our city. So we try to spread the love and have different themes um, within the food system but and not just always be talking about the same restaurants or the same organization. So uh, if you've ever hosted events once a month you know there's not much time when you're not planning for the next event. So from 
um, probably in February, March through um, November, even though our events are only running April through October. We're really in the planning stages. I think if we're talking about Second Saturday's direct impacts, uh, they often have to do with awareness. So this year we had over 3,000 people attending um, various events promoted by Second Saturday. And a lot of times those people go to one event that they knew about and then um, decide to go and continue their day at another Second Saturday event. So by having a diversity of local food events um, on one day, we're really building that public awareness. Um, and I think when it comes to food security specifically as a local food system issue, um, that awareness is key because if you're aware that there are people in your community that are hungry, then you're probably going to do something about it. If you have no idea it's happening, you're definitely not going to do anything about it. Challenges for Second Saturday as a completely volunteer run organization are usually manpower related. So uh, especially when people get busy um, in the summertime and how as we all have a lot of things to do in the summer, I think more than the winter, then it can be tricky to hold our volunteer team together. Um, we do have some great long term volunteers. Um, I've been working with Second Saturday since the very beginning. Um, and then we have probably a core group of like three or four others that come back time and time again to help and our partner organizations are really vital in that. Um, but I would say it is challenging to keep momentum and energy behind something that happens every single month. Uh, so that's why we take the winter off. Uh, we're actually just talking about the, with the Raleigh Food Quarter Leadership Council, we were talking about what Second Saturday might look like uh, next year. and. A lot of our goals from the beginning have been to build Second Saturday to where it was recognizable as a place to go. Um, if you if you had an idea about local food, you could find like-minded people. And really what we saw this past summer was that a lot of that started to happen. Um, so we've been working, this was the fourth season that just ended, and we've been working for a while to get to the point where people knew that Second Saturday and the partner organizations of Second Saturday were doing something for local food. And we got to the point this year where we kept getting emails and requests from people and saying, I think you could help me um, introduce me to this person or I think you um, should know about this event and can you help me with my event? And that was really cool. That was a big goal achievement for us. And so that allows us kind of as we look to next year to ask what those next steps are. And over this um, kind of off season, winter season, we're really hoping to hone in on what those exact goals will be. But I think just kind of speaking generally, I think all organizations that are event-based, we want more people to come out to our events. And for Second Saturday, that doesn't necessarily mean more people at each event, but it might mean more events in different parts of Raleigh and reaching out to more diverse neighborhoods in Raleigh. It might mean uh, getting different types of events involved. So that's kind of where we're looking at for next year is what types of events and how many people um, can we get at those different partner events.